Hey guys, Meet Ronald Chris Tomer here with this morning mountain weather update. Let's go to water vapor satellite imagery this morning. I'll give you an overview of what I'm seeing. So the little departing storm out of California is dropping to the south, becoming the southern track storm, and it's drying up at the same at the same time. Now this is really the storm to watch for the time period. Um, it'll come in a little further north and behind this low and then drop down through the Intermountain West with a wave of snow through Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, Utah, Colorado, and New Mexico. That happens 124, 25, and 26 through the Intermountain West. So that's yet to come, and that's the one that will deliver most of the accumulation. Let me show you my bullet points here. Uh, a lot of this has to do with timing. You can see the dates here when it's going to snow. California, that next storm that's coming off the Pacific, will give you light to moderate snow on 124. Then it's much warmer after that. And then you can see what happens. The low travels through Utah, through Wyoming, and then eventually Colorado on 126 with light to moderate snow through most of those, uh, through most of those ranges, you know, those, those mountain ranges. In the northeast, you've got light snow coming afternoon um, today through tomorrow. Then it's rain 125, 126. And then moderate to heavy snow still in the forecast for right around 128 with potentially a stronger area of low pressure. All right, let's go back. I want to show you the forecast radar and satellite here. You can really get a sense of how things move. So that's the, the, the forecast radar by this afternoon. Some very light snows through the Tetons, flurries in the, in the Wasatch. And here comes the next storm system, the one to watch for the time period. So by 125 in the morning, you can see it does push a wave of snow down through Idaho, Montana, the Tetons, the Wasatch, Nevada, and also running through parts of the Sierra. And then that moves into Colorado by the time we get into late 125 and 126. There's the morning of 126, some leftover snow, Colorado, New Mexico. And then another storm hits the West Coast, Pacific Northwest. But that's kind of the flow. Those, those storm systems are going to stay in that area. There's not a lot that's going to happen in the Intermountain West between 127 and probably 131 in Wyoming, Utah, Colorado, New Mexico. A little bit of high pressure ridging. But by the time we get into probably the first, second, and third of February, I think that's going to change with a pretty rich flow moving in, and that would probably overrun the high pressure and eventually move into the Intermountain West. So it does change eventually. All right, let's look at uh, jet stream pattern. So this is 124. You can see there's a trough swinging through the Intermountain West, Utah, Colorado, Arizona, Wyoming, New Mexico. Um, that's on the very leading edge of that 124, 25, 26 storm system. Here's what it looks like on 27. By 27, it's moving away, and there's starting to see some high pressure ridging across the Intermountain West. Way down the road, here's 2-1, so February 1st, powerful sub subtropical jet blowing in a lot of moisture to the West Coast, and by then, that's probably enough energy um, to overrun the high pressure that's sitting over uh, Wyoming, Colorado, Utah, New Mexico. So that would change it by then. Let's look at the snowfall by period. So this is uh, today through tomorrow. Very light snow accumulation across the lower 48. Uh, you know, an inch, two inches here and there, a little bit more in the Pacific Northwest, West Coast. Second time period, this is that, uh, that storm system to watch that comes in. And really 25, 26 are the two main days for this. Um, three to six across the Tetons, four to eight for the, uh, the Wasatch, one to four over the central and northern mountains of Colorado, more in western and southwest Colorado. Um, where you could see up to eight, maybe nine inches of snow there. Let's go to the third time period. So this is 128 through 21. And by then we start to see that rich flow, especially around 21, hit the West Coast. Uh, and that could really increase the totals there in California, 10 to 20 inches, maybe more up on Shasta, quite a bit up at Whistler. And then we'd start to see that moisture overrun Utah, Idaho, Wyoming, and eventually Colorado. Into the north, we, northeast we go. A little bit of snow on uh, afternoon 23 and 24, but then it's rain, 25, 26. The best shot of snow is still on the 28th, and that's where most of this accumulation occurs in uh, New York State, Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this morning mountain weather update. Always appreciate you tuning in here, and take care.